Riley Sai here. Building on from the Atoms video, we're going to talk about elements. Here's the periodic table of the elements. Ooh, scary. It's really not that bad. The first time I saw it, I thought that surely scientists could do better than that. But it turns out that there's a really good reason for the shape of the table. But that's for another video. Now, each box on the periodic table represents a different element, from hydrogen to organosan. There are a total of 118 different elements. But what is an element? Let's say you're going to make a chart of different kinds of vehicles. For a start, you would have different kinds of them. You'd have sedans, and sports cars, and SUVs, pickup trucks, and bicycles. Within these groups, you'd have the specific models of vehicles. For sports cars, you'd have the Porsche 911, the Porsche 928, the Ferrari 288 GTO, the Lamborghini Countach, and so on. Each of these cars is an example of a kind of sports car, a kind of vehicle. Well, each element is a kind of atom. What makes different kinds of atoms? Well, it turns out the important thing is the number of protons. The number of protons is so important that that number is called the atomic number. Each atom of, of an element, say carbon, has the same number of protons, in this case six. If an atom has more or fewer protons, then it can't be carbon. It would be a different element. Okay, carbon has six protons, so its atomic number is six. It also has six electrons, or it wouldn't be a carbon atom, it would be a carbon ion. Recall, an ion is just an atom that has gained or lost some electrons, so it has a charge. Atoms have the same number of protons and electrons, so they don't have a charge. The minus from the electrons cancels out the positive from the protons. So all carbon atoms have six protons. If it has six electrons, then it's an atom. If it has a different number of electrons, then it's an ion. It's still carbon, it's just a carbon ion, and it has a charge. Uh, what about those neutrons there in the nucleus with the protons? Well, most carbon atoms happen to have six neutrons. The number of neutrons isn't as important chemically as the number of protons or electrons. Having more neutrons makes the atom heavier. So a carbon atom can have seven neutrons instead of six. It will still be carbon, just a slightly heavier carbon. Now, when we get down to the atomic scale, it, it doesn't make sense to think of mass in terms of kilograms. Instead, we count the number of protons and neutrons. It turns out that protons and neutrons have the same mass, so counting them gives us the atom's mass. What about the electrons? Don't they count? Sure they do. It's just that, first of all, the number of electrons can change quickly, and secondly, it takes almost 2,000 electrons to have the same mass as one proton. So, it has very negligible effect on the mass. So, a carbon atom with six protons and six neutrons has a mass of 12. 12 what? It sure isn't 12 kilograms. Well, it's 12 atomic mass units. One proton, or neutron, has a mass of one atomic mass unit, or AMU. Quick question, what's the mass of a carbon atom with seven neutrons? 
13 AMU, 6 protons plus 7 neutrons. The heavier carbon atoms behave like regular carbon atoms, except since it has more mass, it has more inertia, and changes direction slower. Now, the number of protons is the most important. It tells us what the element is, 6 for carbon. You can add and remove electrons and it's still carbon, just carbon with a charge, a carbon ion. Most carbon atoms have six neutrons, but some have more and some have fewer. The carbon atoms with masses different than 12 are called different isotopes of carbon. There are carbon atoms with a mass of 10 AMU, carbon atoms with mass 12 AMU, carbon atoms with mass 13 AMU. They're all carbon atoms, just different isotopes of carbon. Okay, I've been using carbon a lot. What about other elements? Starting with hydrogen, atomic number one, we go to helium, atomic number two, to lithium, beryllium, boron, our friend carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, Neon. Those are the first ten elements. They each behave differently because they have a different number of protons. The oxygen that your body needs has eight protons. The gold I was talking about in the previous video has 79 protons. There are 118 different elements so far. So the heaviest element is number 118, Oganesson. It normally has a mass of 294 AMU. How many neutrons does it have? Not that hard, simple math. 176 neutrons. Everything physical is made of atoms. You, me, this shirt, this controller, the lights, the my house, the moon. Everything is made out of atoms, and there are 118 different kinds. The elements. Everything is made of atoms of these elements held together and doing chemical reactions. Next, we'll talk about the periodic table. <laughs> That's all for now. Riley Sci out.